Hi there, this is Penny Manus Diefendorf with your Daily Grain. So here's the other downside of toiling for toiling's sake. When you have your head down with your nose to the grindstone because you have a whole set of tasks and burdens and duties to accomplish, you don't see the beauty of life. You can't because your head is down. It's like walking on a gorgeous country lane and looking down at where your feet are, looking down at the stones under your feet. All you see is hardness, right? All you see is the immediate path ahead, which is really debilitating actually. So in life you want to put yourself in a position where you have the fullness of life available for you to see. The work you do, the associations you have are not so overwhelming that life itself loses its flavor. Life itself becomes a narrow vista where you only see through a tunnel that you have created for yourself. And when you live life in a tunnel, when you live life with a restricted view and experience of what is possible, then life really loses its meaning. Life becomes purposeless, it becomes flavorless, because all that is ahead of you, all that is around you is grind, is stress, is strain. And that is a really difficult way to live life. So today, in addition to yesterday's question of why you toil, think about are you walking in life or are you walking through life with your head down? Are you walking through what could be gorgeous scenery and not having the motivation, the availability or the inclination to look up, to look around you, to look at the possibilities, to look at the opportunities. That can possibly take you to other places, other situations, other associations. Today, make a pact with yourself. If you are looking down, if you are not looking around you and enjoying your life, today make a pact with yourself to start doing so.